try and get this before I lose any more likes. Welcome everyone to another of my new segment called Phone Call Friday. Even though I already uploaded one earlier, presenting my latest edition, Twinkie the Kid, I wanted to do something different and special in reference to one of my favorite shows, The Big Man Theory. I'm still finishing season 12. I'm still barely started on it. I've been trying to watch it slowly because I want to because I want to marinate it, I want to enjoy it, and just taking those moments until I know that I get to the last episode that is probably going to be very emotional and sad. And uh, related to the pops, uh, this is basically an update on what I have gotten from the collection, which is tech, which is kind of strange how it took so many years to get another decent wave of Big Bang Theory pops. I, I don't know what happened. They had released... Big, big Bang Pops of years ago. I remember only getting, I think I only have two of them that were, I think that they were the Hot Topic versions of one of the Comic Cons. I'm not really sure. I gotta find them. They're in one of my boxes. Just this collection you will see in the video is basically uh, Pops that will probably uh, live outside the box once I set up the room that I want for all of my collection. These have not gone much in value, especially considering that there's there's five of them that are part of the 2019 Summer Convention, which is the, which is the five pops that they did of them dressed as the Justice League. This episode was hilarious, especially because nobody wanted to be Aquaman, the comic book version that even Raj said, nobody wants to be Aquaman, he's stupid. Anyway, Without further ado or any delays, bienvenidos, enjoy the video. I am your host, by the way. Do they care? I don't think they care. So let's start with Leonard, uh, especially that this is what I think is considered just the second wave. Yeah, they actually have the same backing, except that this one, alongside with the other ones that were part of the convention, which is strange because some of them came with the Walmart sticker, and then some of them came with the convention sticker, even though all five of them were sold from Walmart. I was actually surprised that I could able that I was able to buy these pretty much a month or two after they came out, and that basically shows. It wasn't a disappointment, but it was a relief to me because the flippers haven't been that intense on them. But it's also probably due to because the show's popularity, I'm not saying that it's decreased, but it's probably because at the time, people were more interested in getting things from, I don't know, uh, Game of Thrones or... Here he is with the Green Lantern costume. I don't remember, what was he holding in the episode that he has here in his hand? Ah, I forgot, totally forgot. I gotta go back and see that episode. And then this was also from the la from from the later seasons, when I mean the, la the later seasons is um, the seasons that he is living with Penny. I, I believe by, by, the by this point he was married to Penny already, wrote down sarcasm. Details of the pajamas, looking cool. You see, so these are pops that, oh man, I really, I can't wait until I can have these shows, shows in a display without the boxes, without a, without all the mess. I might eventually throw away the boxes just because, you know, humidity might get to them at some point. So, but and then also it's a lot easier to display your your pops. Obviously when they are outside the boxes the idea of the boxes is that you can stack them and it's kind And it's supposed to be a little bit easier to organize But my intention will be to have them on a display that is closed up and then just have all them in there All right, so let's put you and you there and let's find another two to open And since we did Leonard, I think it's fair to do Penny All right, let's do this this penny which this episode the first time i saw it i laughed so much i mean i've laughed a lot with this show and it's a show that has that is really fun to watch with my friends even with the people that i call you know um even people that i call siblings even though they are not it's by blood I still like to refer to them as, as brothers and sisters. Now, 
funny thing, this penny came with a little stand. The Leonard's didn't, and this penny, the Wonder Woman penny. Now, the time that they dressed up for Megacon was actually from an older season. Let me see if I can put this without looking properly because I'm trying to look over the phone. There we go. So the season that they did the that they dressed up as the Justice League was actually for an older season versus this was later on. This is when Penny uh, got sucked into gaming. Here's Raj with his iconic uh, green Cosmo thingy drink. Let me see if I can get the, the color in there. Oh, it's in there somewhere. And he doesn't come with the, with the stand either. Oh, there goes Leonard. He fell. Leonard is always getting into trouble. And it's Raj. Raj always, almost always, has has gotten uh, the worst end of the stick when it comes to their lives. But he just makes the best of it, to be honest. Actually, his Aquaman one has a. Uh, it's not heavy, but it has a good weight to it, which is kind of nice. So that way doesn't tip over or anything. Leonard, just stand next to Penny right there. Howard, be all creepy. Here's Bernie. Let me move this box too out of the way. I learned from an interview that they did to her that, well, first of all, that her voice is nothing like that. That squeaky voice, that, you know, that high-pitched voice she has on the show, that is not her voice. Her voice is her, her real voice is so different. There we go. She also comes with it with the stand. Is this a trend that the girls come with the stand and not the boys? Huh. Here's Amy. This character is so amazingly funny. She too comes with the stand. So this is actually the first time I opened these since I got them. I had only taken pictures of them in the boxes when I got them just because I didn't want to make a whole, to make a whole thing about them. All right, so that's Amy. I still cannot believe this guy got, got a pop. But at the same time, I'm not surprised. I mean, he, his weird quirky character just became a regular thing in the show. Even has the the little the little logo. Even has the clipboard. No stand for him either. Right, let me try and get this back here. Everyone's almost in the frame. Of course, the man himself, Sheldon Cooper. I believe I have one Sheldon Cooper from the first waves, but I don't remember the shirt. I gotta go into my pop price guide list to see what it is. Vroom, vroom, vroom. I think I'm gonna end up watching the show again after this. And last but not least, you can always say you have one favorite character or something from each character that you can you can reflect with. Sheldon, of course, became the star of the show alongside with, with Penny, even though from the beginning you could, the, the feeling you get is that Leonard was supposed to be the, the main character and falling for Penny and that whole odyssey of how he gets her. But just like a lot of shows, they, they start with one concept and then they evolve into this whole other thing and it just grew from being a show about four geeky guys that live their daily lives with their daily routines in their in their daily geeky ways to eventually finding some kind of love and not necessarily a love about ooh, marriage and partner no um it's it's a certain bond you get when you develop this family it sounds cheesy what i'm saying but it's true you you probably have a, a a group of people that you will rely on more 
than your actual family and this is what the big bang theory characters have been able to do and bring together some people that that i know lost interest in the show once once they started to get them involved with the girls because it kind of became a little bit cliche for them but for me i i've kept on watching it's probably one of my favorite characters i can relate so much to him that is a little scary for certain things even though there are things that i that i can relate to about leonard so this is of course in his astronaut suit because even though he hated his time in space because he was oh sorry about that sound because he was miserable Ooh, that was loud he was he was miserable um his little uh, his his astronaut outfit is funny as hell. <laughs> even though he was miserable he loved to gloat about it and because batman and i can get heat for this but i don't care it's my favorite dc character he dressed up as batman and when he showed up on scene with this costume he said i'm batman because because at the time christian bale was our batman so everybody was just doing his thing this actually <laughs> That's funny. Well, so this is my collection so far related to Big Bang Theory. I honestly, I love the show. I love the pops. I would love to be able to collect them all, but honestly, uh, oops. But honestly, I don't think that's gonna be possible. Here's a better shot of them all together. Oh, uh, what do you think? Do you like this? Uh, I mean, I I could do this every so often to showcase a collection if I have it on hand. I could do this with my Dragon Ball collection, but that's gonna be a bigger video, a longer video, and I'm gonna need a bigger table for that just because that there's a lot of them, and that's another uh, pop series that is impossible to complete only because of the planet of yeah, Vegeta, which if you buy Funko Pops, if you buy Dragon Ball Pops, you know about Alia Vegeta, and you know that you cannot buy those Pops wanting to be able to complete them. So put this here, clip it, stick it. Well, and that is that. If you are still watching until the very end and you did not mind hearing me just blabber on and banter on, I appreciate that. And if you didn't, that's fine. It's a long video. As much as I try and cut it down, it's gonna be long. So this is my updated collection of Big Bang Theory. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, you know what to do, but I don't care right now if you wanna like and, like and subscribe or not, that's not, not, not. If you liked it, you know what to do. And you know how to come back. And if you don't know how to reach me or if you wanna chat, hit me up somewhere in the screen my handle is going to pop up, which is at the Tommy Roca on Instagram and Twitter. And I'll see you around. Stay safe, be kind, be human, wash your hands, and be freaking cool. So I'm going to be hands. Freaking birds, you ruined my video.